kidding me? Are you rolling? Are you kidding me? Oh my me? god. <laughs> Elizabeth, I I can't see. That's why I, I, I was genuinely asking. In shame, literally, because of Elizabeth last week, went and got a haircut because of so how cute. nasty. No, no, no. Chris, I think was there in the room. Do you have your headset, Chris? Yeah. Uh, One of us has to wear in a the room. I walk into the kitchen and Lizzie is like going at a hundred miles an hour to Chris, Spencer, and Shane about how hideous I am because of whoa, my hair. Whoa, 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 no, it was whoa, it was whoa, whoa. abuse. No. And, and Shane, you... even after you left that night, Shane goes. She really hates your hair. I do. And, <laughs> and so I went and got a haircut because of how insecure you made me feel. You're and I just said, do I need to wear my headset because I got a haircut and I feel like it looks good? And you go, what makes you think that? I was wondering. Oh. I can't see that on the And then when on. I texted her my photo of my new haircut that I took a photo just for her, she was like, okay, here's how we can fix this. And I was like, no. can I not just have no. one win? Can I you not are, have one no, win? You are absolutely lying. I said, I post, have the text messages. Pull them, pull can you up. hear me well without putting my headset You're on? You're very loud. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Or, um, I think we should wear headsets, though. Well, you wear a headset. I don't and like I'm being gonna... the only one in a headset. Why? Seems weird. I can pull. Oh, um. <sighs> what? Oh, oh, baby things are going on. <laughs> Do they need me? Uh, <laughs> no, but they need me. But Shane wasn't on that text, so now I might have to text someone. Just text someone. I'll pull up our text conversation and oh, prove you yeah, wrong. Oh, yeah. Scroll for one second. Yeah. Because you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally not. And then I said, do you talk to your husband like this? And that because was confusing it's like, to me. She still... Because I, I literally called you a this, beautiful boy. I spent all this time researching somebody that would like be delicate and well you're gonna thought feel like out such in a, a mince haircut. Goose. And I showed Lizzie my inspo pic and she was like, that is good. Because it's like the inspo pic I'll put here no. is my hair type. And I was like, I can achieve this. But I didn't want to go all in on the stylist until I was confident in her to let her go really short on the sides and I knew how delicate she was but now that I'm confident in her abilities I will go for the inspo pick next time which is a lot shorter on the sides and it like blends in and falls over the top you sent me two pictures I go oh this is good you look great okay and then keep going <laughs> I really think if you use a little light wax on the sides, you could push them back and uh, back in, keep them a little slick so they appear shorter. But really, it's because they're flat on your head and you need some root lift texture shit on the top part. I believe in you. So this is after the woman cut my hair, <laughs> styled my hair for 15 minutes. You told and then me she's your giving hair wasn't constructive... styled. Let me see. You said you you sent me this and you said your hair wasn't styled. Yeah, and then you it. sent me. OK, you didn't. You just said TTYL. Okay. Whatever. And no, then, no, no. But keep, no, keep you're running. wrong. Keep going. You're wrong. You know what's You're the most? No, he sent me his hair goal. And my point was that he was already at his hair goal. The only thing he needed to do was use some fucking products. That was what I was okay. saying. Keep, I was saying, no. I said, you I look good. Okay. I said, you look good. You're, I will give you. You did in all caps say, oh, this looks good. Yeah, this is so good. thank you. You look great. Thank you. Fucking maniac. Thank you. I just, you know, the tension is coming because I feel like we're I growing said, apart. I believe I in you. I feel like Lizzie and I have had a bad crazy. week. He said, do you give the same energy to Joe? And I was like, what do you mean? Because so I, said, I was being nothing but fucking nice to so him. I said, and I thought he was accusing me of cheating on my husband emotionally with his gay ass. So I sent another picture. I said, this motherfucker said, is so hot, he takes my breath away daily. Thank you. <laughs> You're nuts. <laughs> okay. Can I tell you why there's tension? Because I, I feel said, like... I'm also happy. I'm saying I think you're closer to your goal than you know. I think you could achieve your goal right now if you use products in your hair. Could I be more clear? <laughs> Maniac. And I'm sorry for shit talking your hair, but the fact that everybody was letting you walk around like that was mean. Well, Shane was like, <laughs> Shane was like, I'm seriously wondering if she's like jealous that all the comments on all the videos are about how good your hair is. None of them are. <laughs> they are. Show me two. <laughs> Show me two. <laughs> Here you go being nasty again. Don't make me be this way. No. <laughs> Just can I have a good haircut? Yes, you okay. can. Here's where can my you? Here's where my insecurities lie. <laughs> I feel like we've had a rough week we've and I feel like we've grown apart. And even when I tried to make peace with her, I was like looking it at the right temperature for cold plunging because cold plunging is all the rage right now. And I looked at the temperature of my pool and I was like, without it being a cold plunge, it's the perfect temperature for cold plunging. Can we go cold plunging? And she goes, I'd rather die. And I just said, wow, it just seems like we don't see eye to eye on anything anymore. You know what? I'm going to let you keep going because soon this is going to be your villain narrative. <laughs> I need you to know 
at some point the audience is going to turn on you for this and they're going to see me for the victim that i am okay well while i'm going on and on and on i might as well just go there because we do need to deal with our problems head on okay and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna let me have a video essay for a second uninterrupted this is and then you can respond prompter. yes and because i needed to make sure that i hit all my points okay because this is really where our big fight happened okay and we have not been good ever since you're gonna make me rebut to you in such a psychotic way that okay. i have to bleep it out <laughs> so imagine your best friend in the entire world like we've been besties forever she's my one and only my ride or tie she begs me when i'm in colorado please please Please, please have your kids here. All of my friends have their kids elsewhere, and I just want to be there with you and your kids, and I will be there all the time with you to hang out with you, to watch TV, to help you with the kids, to be there for your kids. Yes. I moved to California. <laughs> it's been two months, basically, and she's been here twice, and one of the times was a vlog concept. So if we're doing math, that takes that away. That is a lie. So uh, it's a vlog. It it's was, on YouTube. No, it was not meant to be that way, though. Okay. That was not the intention. So you've been here one and a half. I'll give you one and a half. We'll meet in the middle. You've okay. been here one and a half times in two months. And well, really, it's four times if you count when I came here when you weren't here. <laughs> what? Oh, you were nice pre babies. She came over, did and all also, the wash. I was violently ill. I don't understand why you think. No, 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 no. We're not playing these games. <laughs> it, cut to Saturday, a cold, rainy day. She texts me about how hungry she is. And I was like, oh, perfect. Shane just got me this new waffle maker. I wasn't even asking her to bring food. I was like, Shane got me this new waffle maker. Come over, just hang out with me and the babies. We'll make breakfast for lunch and just have like a cozy day where we hang out. No. I was declined. She doesn't come over. I I'm have... gonna have to do it. You're gonna. I you're have... literally forcing me I... into no, a no, corner. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no that's not gonna go well, well for you. No, this doesn't go well for you. I. So cut to the end of the night. I had a rough baby day. The babies were just having a rough day. You have great days. You have bad days. This was a rough baby day. I send her a picture of how stressed out I am with one of the babies. She replies to me with a photo of her and all of her friends having a wonderful time. And I was like. It was my friend's fucking birthday party, her 39th birthday party. I went to her house for two hours to make friendship bracelets and then return to my home because I'm fucking... Now you're making me seem crazy. It's the facts! <laughs> <laughs> it's the facts! No, she only comes over when we have to work. Hold on. I'm literally going to have to do don't, this. No, don't do it! No, I'm literally going to have to oh, do you gonna, I'm not cutting it. <laughs> you're making me feel are crazy. you gonna do this you're I, I might have to bro okay, okay. no don't do this you to don't yourself. want me to, don't to do myself, to myself? <laughs> my heart is racing with rage right okay, now don't, i'll step it back a little bit okay it just really but you knew what you did when you did it because then to be you honest, walked back and I it was nasty i did it until after i did it and then i realized how it would look to a person who's unstable like yourself uh, right <laughs> right and all i was asking was for an hour of your time to eat lunch with me but can, that i was gonna make you can you admit i can admit that it's a birthday party i didn't know it was a birthday party till yeah. after you just sent me a photo of you kiki and I wasn't with all even, your friends and i wasn't even positive i was gonna go all day because i was like fucking exhausted like right. run the fuck down i've been in bed all week watching this is us one thing i made at the party is a pin that says this is us let me see let me see Wow, that is cute. What's the other pin? That's obviously oh, Mr. Mr. Bubs. Bubs. Well, I can only tell by it saying Bobo. <laughs> and it's spelled so wrong. So I don't know that it's moron. obvious. <laughs> no, but, and it wasn't that you didn't come over. It was that I got the photo of you partying with your and friends. And I will say. And it, that was just in the heat that of my bad day. That must have been a day, dagger to the heart. I, I was just like. <gasps> yeah. I and then that. this morning she sends me some shit on resentment and like acting like For i was the hours, problem this crazy bitch has been texting me i'm still <laughs> mad at you but my kids are cute <laughs> well i have to send cute and pictures just, of my kids this, to someone i have a friend who sends me a quote every morning and and the quote that i got this morning just seemed like my it might alleviate some of rylan's rage Okay. At the heart of resentment, you'll find a fear that wishes to remain anonymous. And so I Googled resentment. I know what resentment is, but I wanted the exact definition. And I'm not like resentful at you. I'm hurt. Okay. Oh. I think that's the fear at the base of it. I think you're worried <laughs> you're losing a friend. But I also think... Well, because you're nowhere to be found when I need you most. Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. I want you all to remember this moment. <laughs> I want you remember to remember this, this moment, moment when I when I call it into reference. Okay. Well, I'll remember. Well, no, we won't. We don't know what this episode's titled yet. Chris, I have an exciting thing for you today. Oh. We are trying the Taco Bell cereal. <gasps> and I ordered this week. Well, I didn't. Shane ordered this week's crumbles for us. Oh, <gasps> my God. <gasps> and they have the new square thing. Yes, and that's what we have. We oh, have my God. I wanted that so bad. I'm so excited. <laughs> what? I don't even know. And I'm off sugar. Even Are though I came the it? night that you ditched me and I got that picture after a hard day, I threw a chocolate chip <laughs> cookie in my mouth and I said, you're enabling an addict. <laughs> And now, so are you, all of you, because oh, no. these this podcast only gets clicked on when it's food, and then everyone gets mad when it's not food, or when the thumbnail's food. So it's like, I'm sorry, but none of you click on it when it's just us sitting in a podcast shed. I was also thinking, like, desperately, like, should we cut my bangs on air? <laughs> Will people watch if we cut my bangs? <laughs> I don't know why that was my contribution. I don't know that you want me cutting your bangs. That's what would make it clickbait. Oh grow up i i will i mean I'll, and i'll let you because i will say this i have talked a massive a lot of shit about your hair <sighs> i say you. it to your face too though okay and it's only because i want it you to be the best that you can be <sighs> okay do you want to pick a fight with me <laughs> what do i want to, oh because you cut the singing out of last week's episode yep. i mean in retrospect like i'm very run down from our actual fight so no i don't <laughs> i just want to be friends okay i did cut out like there was a moment where we sang in last week. Oh, you guys. Hello, everybody. And welcome, welcome back. Welcome to another episode of The Sip. <laughs> I'm Riley Adams, of course, joined by... Elizabeth Home, okay? And Christopher's back there, too. Uh, they dressed as if it's 15 below today. It might Literally, be. Literally, like, Chris is in a beanie and a huge coat. Lizzie came with a floor-length puffer, and I was like, it's like 60 degrees outside. It's freezing. I know, oh. but... <clears throat> okay. I had my heat blasting. So I cut the singing because it enrages me when people sing who aren't Mariah Carey, you know? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to choose not to take offense to that. First of all. So I thought coming back, we could talk about constructive things that we need to grow on ourselves. I cannot say fuck ever again. Yeah. Lizzie texted me when the podcast went live. Did you listen back to it? Uh, Are I, you not pausing like, damn, girl? I was so <laughs> enraged by the amount of times I said the word like that I was blinded and could not finish watching the episode myself. I say fuck as though it is my only personality trait. And I say like as if I'm a valley girl who's never left. You are. <laughs> 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 to either of those things annoy you guys, we're going to try to work on that just a little bit. Have I bit. said fuck yet? I don't know. I don't I'm think sure I have. You... Okay. <laughs> I'm not doing a counter in editing. Okay, that's it's fine. too much work with newborns. <laughs> that's fair. Hello, you guys. Today's podcast is sponsored by SeatGeek, which you know I'm such a huge fan of. Right now, I have my eyes on some Tate McRae tickets because I have loved her forever. Before I even knew who she was, I loved her. And now that her new album came out and she's really getting the recognition she deserves, I think I just need to take a night for myself away from the kids and enjoy some live music. And if you're living under a rock, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app with over 28 million downloads. And that's because there are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. There's artists like Drake, Bad Bunny, Nicki Minaj, and Olivia Rodrigo, plus so many more on tour right now, so you are not going to want to miss out. My favorite things about SeatGeek are that they put all of the tickets from across the web in one place. That's to make sure you're getting a good deal, and each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10. So look for the green dots because green means good, red means bad, and every single ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee. And SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. And you know SeatGeek came through for all of you guys. Use our code SIP, S-I-P, for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code SIP. And make sure you click the link in our description section to download their fantastic app. Today's podcast is sponsored by Lumi. And I know all of you say this just like I do every year. New year, new me. Cut to two weeks later and we're all looking a whole lot like our old selves. 
themselves, but there is one resolution that is right within reach, and that's smelling better naked. It's as easy as upgrading deodorants, and that's thanks to Lumi. It's a game-changing whole-body deodorant designed by an OBGYN to work not only on pits, but also feet, privates, and everywhere else that we get odor. No matter where you use it, Lumi is clinically proven to block odor all day long, all thanks to its one-of-a-kind pH-optimized formula. They've got over 275,000 five-star reviews to show for it. So make the switch to Lumi and make this year the freshest one yet. Plus, new customers get $5 off Lumi's starter pack with our exclusive code and link that is sip at lumideodorant.com. I personally love all the different scents that Lumi offers, and I suffer from ass sweat, so I love that I can even put it there so I can avoid having swamp. Is that sweat ass? I don't know, you get it. But you can seriously put it anywhere, pits, under boobs, thigh folds, belly buttons, butt cracks, vulvas, and feet. Plus, it's clinically proven to block odor all day long and control odor for up to 72 hours. It's baking soda free and paraben free and pH balanced for safe use below the belt. Like I mentioned, the Lumi starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, and two free products of your choice like mini body wash and deodorant wipes plus free shipping. So as a special offer for our listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code SIP at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit lumideodorant.com and use code SIP. Okay, so what did you gain? Wait, you finished every season of This Is Us? No, here's my question. When does it end? It's after season six. And it's oh my God, I have two more fucking seasons. Maybe it's season five. Okay, because I'm on season five, episode three right now. Why would you want to rush it? It's not that I'm rushing it. It's just that like- it feels like you're rushing it. Bro, I've been watching it for seven days. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and it's the best. I, there is a hole in my heart that's missing now that they're off the air because it was my once a week outlet to scream cry at the world because that, that show it makes yeah. you scream cry oh yeah if to feel something i've literally been sending you only pictures of me scream crying in the dark in my bedroom <laughs> <laughs> like i'm not well <laughs> i'm sick it's so good though what's going on right now um so right now covid just hit and they just had their 40th birthday oh wow yeah okay mm-hmm. and you know the mom's got some issues that she's right. working through and mm. um the boys have some issues that they're working through and Kate and Toby are having problems, which honest to God, like Kate is such a bitch. <laughs> I literally <laughs> was Googling, like, does everyone hate Kate? And literally the first thing that pops up on Google is like, yeah, <laughs> she is a selfish bitch. She's just been nasty. The way that she talks to her mom, who's cool as fuck too. She's like, I've always hated you because you're cool as fuck. And that honestly made me scared to have a daughter. Me too. <laughs> and then in season whatever, when William dies and goes to heaven and goes to his mother's Spoiler. arms. Oh, whatever. You, it's been out for 10 years. And William goes into this, his mother's arms. I was like, I want a boy. I want a baby boy. And then, like, but all of it's so fucked because also like Kate with Toby. Anytime abusive. something, it's abusive. She, She's always like, I don't want you to feel hope because I can't have any hope. So you swallow that hope and you share it with no one. You press it and down. Toby's like, just out here trying to better himself all yeah. the time. Trying to she, be a happy-go-lucky, moving forward kind of guy. It's nuts. And then she goes, why'd you lose weight without me? It's like, you told me to take my hope and shove it down and share it with no one so in what fucking world am i gonna ask your bitch ass to come fuck around with me at the gym do you know what i'm saying right and it's like that every time he has anything she's just like fuck your thing toby i also finally got around to finishing selling sunset and watch the reunion oh. did you ever watch the reunion yeah and what did you think i mean i feel like they're doing a lot of whispering while the show's going on right and nobody tells me what they're whispering about, <laughs> but they cover it visually. So they like cut to two people whispering, but they're never like, here's what they were whispering about. It's like, I need to know what they were whispering about. I do feel for Chriselle and that I think everyone does come at her for a storyline. I do believe her in that sense. I think they're all batshit crazy. And, and they're I, looking nuts at the reunion. It's a I, lot. It's a lot. And it's a lot. <laughs> and I want to like Chriselle. Like I want an IMS. What? You keep looking at me like I'm a mess. I thought you said IMS. I was no. like, <laughs> um, I don't know what that means. But no, I mean, Chriselle, all of them, like, I really want to like Chriselle. I want Chriselle to be normal. Like, I want her to be chill. But it's like, nobody who looks like this and dresses like that is normal. It's getting out of control over yeah. there. And that's why I take myself to selling the OC where they're still a little 
like grounded in reality somewhat. Right. I mean, where an apartment is three million dollars. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the agents themselves. They haven't right. gone on to full blown like costumes yet. Right. And they're, like these girls were not existing in a reality anymore on Selling Sunset. No. And it's all like the drama this season was so put on like you could tell everyone was trying to get a storyline for the show that it's just like not even as enjoyable to me like i i want the the I, fine line of real life and like heightened tiny bits for drama i think nick cannon's baby mama drama her shit within the selling sunset is good company i think that's real well and that's why when you were watching this is us i was like wow this is all more interesting for you to if you were, were to start watching selling sunset now because in the first couple of seasons of selling sunset is when justin hartley the star of this is us right. left chrishell and then she was like picking up the pieces and like this girl whose career hadn't necessarily worked out the way she wanted her husband's now this famous hollywood actor making a million dollars an episode and she like gets walked out on with nothing and then selling sunset made her this huge breakout star <clears throat> so it was so fun to cheer for her and root her on um but now it's like getting a little too over the top again for me where it's like i'm losing that groundedness that i fell in love with chrishell over not that like she needs to be put in a box and stay the same no, forever no, no. yeah but it's just like the whole show as a whole is like gone off the rails a bit it just feels inorganic like right. everyone feels plastic and not in like a fun way right like it's spooktacular over there <laughs> like those titties need to rest um what do you have kelsey what's that oh that's travis kelsey oh later what was i gonna say joe is blaming you ah you just didn't drag kelsey with jason oh well if this is going into our hot topics then i should give my tick experience first this is a while back when you had left me and I had to find somebody else to hike with because I still need to give my dogs a good life. I do love that you have a backup friend and that it's not me. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm just throwing shade at your other friend. <laughs> she gets so upset and I was like, well, if you were present, I mean, that other friend's seen the babies as much as you I and know. she's not even in the country. Listen, I did the math on that. I do the math on that every day. And so then <laughs> I nastily, I did send, Lizzie's dream has been like to have a photo with both boys in her arms. It's not, I don't even want friend, the photo. I just want to hold both of them. Right. I'm not here and so for the photo so my other friend, moment. that happened to happen. And so I sent her that photo in a moment of rage. Yeah. The other friend's also an actress. So it all feels put on over there as well. What? <gasps> yep. It's an act. Oh, oh please. Uh. <laughs> like my longest friend in LA. Like literally longer. I've known her longer than I've known you. I've been upset that she, that's the fact since <laughs> I met you. And like the first year we were here, I was like, I don't have a Valentine. Do you want to do Valentine's Day? I'm doing Valentine's Day with my other friend. She's been here longer than you. We, and we did spend this. Valentine's Day together until I got very serious with Shane. Even my first year with Shane was with her and not Shane. Wow. <laughs> Good for her. So we went on a hike up through like the Santa Monica Mountains, like overseeing Malibu. And I got home and I'm like in the kitchen. We're all talking, me, Shane and my friend. And I look down and I was like, what is crawling on my dog? Oh my God, crawling. And I look down and I pick it up and I was like, that's not a tick. There's no way that's a tick. And we pull it up and she's like, that's definitely a tick. Thank God that's she was definitely here. definitely a tick. And like. So then we're freaking out because ticks and Lyme disease, yeah. obviously like so horrifying and scary. So I go into this full blown panic rage where then I start combing the other's dogs. And I, and obviously with ticks too, they're hard to kill. So I'm like stabbing it, brutalizing it, like yeah. making sure that it's a hundred percent dead. And then I'm feeling as if ticks are walking all over my body Ugh. and inside of me. And then I start combing honey and there was one on her too. And I was like, oh my gosh, we're infected with ticks now. So I take all the dogs outside i'm combing through them for like an hour to make sure there i go with my like again <laughs> combing through for an hour and i didn't find a third but then i was just so paranoid that they were in the back of my car i was paranoid that they were all over me you so only found I gave... two ticks yeah when you texted me i thought your dogs were covered in ticks two ticks is it's a possibility that one has lyme disease and can ruin no, my entire two life two ticks is too many Exactly. If but there I, was but one... you said my dogs are covered in ticks. I thought it was like a dramatic, like, covered <laughs> in ticks. It is. Okay. If I had only seen one, I would have been like, oh, what a coincidence. But now that there's two, my world one is, is ended. One is a coincidence. <laughs> two is horrific. And so I spend, and then I'm hosing them down. I'm washing them down. And then I'm in the shower, like, scrubbing harder than I've ever scrubbed Bleeding. in my entire life. And then I was scared for the dogs to be on anything for the next four days until I was sure that there weren't any ticks. Ugh. So, God bless me. I didn't know yeah. that there were just ticks right here. 
Of course there's ticks right here. What do you mean you didn't just know there were ticks right here? What? So what I should be afraid what? walking my dogs even in the neighborhood? Always, bro. Where there's brush, so it's there's ticks. It's something we just have to live in fear of at all times? Absolutely. You should check your tick your dogs after every hike. What? Really? <laughs> even at the very populated, well-maintained hikes? Yeah. There's just ticks existing everywhere in LA? Yeah. There's ticks at Fryman. Because in Colorado, there's ticks, but they say they are non-Lyme dare disease carrying ticks oh really yeah i thought colorado was often popping with lyme disease oh what i heard, i just well, had a feeling so about there it. were it there was like a, there reality. was a tick thing going around in colorado where everyone was finding ticks everywhere but they were saying rest assure they don't carry lyme disease in colorado well we love to hear it yeah so no matter what they're yucky i've got to move back i don't have a best friend <laughs> they don't have lyme disease there i gotta go <gasps> oh my sweet ryland your life is so hard thank you for acknowledging that <laughs> He's troubled. Um, okay. On to you. <laughs> On to me. Can you hear me right? Yeah. Okay. How's my hair looking, audience? Okay. Nothing Nothing from I you. I just wanted to see it. And nothing from you. Oh, we both saw Mean Girls. <laughs> we did with Betsy Mean Girls. Both of us did were- Did you see it, Chris? No, I want to. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, don't, I have a feeling it won't be near the original. No, I had fun, but it is like, did you see the TikToks going around that every time they start, people would start filming and every time they broke out in song, the crowds would be like, <sighs> I have to, yeah, I have to say musical wise, I'd never seen Mean Girls the musical like live or whatever. And I didn't. I don't know any of the songs like I didn't pursue Me it either. but then I'm realizing like none of no one cared about the songs because the songs are hard to care about and hard to understand half the time I think that was a movie problem like okay. it was a directorial choice for none of the lyrics to be coherent <laughs> I guess I don't know right. the I am Regina George song like it took 18 times of I her still saying I am Regina George and I am a very big deal for me to get it because it sounds and I'm gonna I sing and you're not gonna cut it okay but yeah. I still didn't know it said deal until Lizzie came over and informed me that's what yeah, the lyric was here's what it sounds like I Regina George <laughs> and it's like I was like huh can we get some close captions on this bucket screen what the fuck and I just kept waiting for Caddy Herring to like step up. I know her name is Katie, whatever. I just kept waiting for this character to like be about something or to like emote in any way. <laughs> and it's just like everything was flat for me. Like from the get, I was like, I get it. She's supposed to be like a deer in headlights and she's scared and she's stressed, but it's like giving nothing. She was, she was fine. I've seen her in other things and she's she's got something like I've seen her in other projects where she has a character and she has a voice and she's give, she's telling me how she feels with her behavior. Right. And I like that a lot. And then in this, I'm just like, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting the funny. The jokes aren't landing for me. Cause I don't think that it almost felt like the directors didn't know what was supposed to be funny or how to show us. It was funny. Does that make sense? Yeah. I had a good enough time in the theater. I, I had did not. <laughs> I was fine. Um, I had a cocktail, so that took the edge off. My dad uh, fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> but I would never watch it again. And then we got home and were curious, so went back and watched the original. And I was gutturally laughing. It's Belly so laughing so hard. Yeah. And I thought, yeah, this one was a miss. No. If you're compa I know it's really hard to match something that yeah. was such an, a moment in time, but it just wasn't that. It was... Very much nothing. I thought the only part, the only performance that I really felt like, sorry, I'm burping. The only performance I felt truly like floored by was the Janice character. Mm -hmm. And the only song that I could like get behind and like give a fuck about, even though the direction was a little bit weak, was the, I put my right hand up or whatever, that song. Right. And other than that, though, I just feel like, you know, the music, the songs themselves were not triggering enough to like, make your heart beat and make you feel like I got a, you know, inspired for lack of a better word. I guess I don't watch musicals, so I don't know. I don't know that well, feeling. There's, <laughs> there's some musicals that just sort of like honestly grip the nation, even though they're live shows before people even can see them on stage, they're buying the soundtracks and they're feeling moved by them. Like I thought the movie Dear Evan Hansen was a sick fucking joke, but when that 
show came out and the first time I heard a lot of those songs, I was scream singing them while walking down Hollywood Boulevard, just feeling inspired. Right. Like I saw fucking Lin-Manuel Miranda and his partner play uh, Not Throwing Away My Shot at, at the White House for Obama, would just stripped down with the piano and the you whole You were there? Or no, video? I saw it online, you fucking idiot. <laughs> and so I, I don't know. <laughs> you have like all these weird ties to celebrity stories. I was, I no, thought I've maybe never, I missed I was, a White I've, House no, encounter. You would never miss a White House encounter. Have you met me? You've heard everything. <laughs> There's no surprises. <laughs> but like even then seeing that, then I used to chase down that YouTube link and listen to it all the time because like it inspires Have you, you ever seen Katy Perry perform fireworks at yeah. the White House? Yeah. That's talk about inspiring too. yeah but see that's what i'm saying like there are songs that inspire right and there's katie cat <laughs> <laughs> there's not a song that inspires in mean girls right like it's it's one of those musicals where you can just be like okay have you heard the song not really over never really over by K katie berry <laughs> <laughs> sing some of it <laughs> just because it's over doesn't mean it's really over uh, never mind i can't sing i'll cut it okay but it's really good it came on <laughs> shuffle on spotify the other day and i thought gosh I really am a Katy cat. My mom loves Katy Perry too. I love her. Do you, are you gonna sing it? Pick me. No, I was gonna say. Did you see, did you hear about the Mean Girls Cinnabon collab? No, yes, but they. I'm <laughs> suddenly interested. He <laughs> sent that on a group chat with all of us. Was that on Instagram? Yeah. Um, I'm afraid of Instagram DMs. Yeah, okay. You need to message me uh, on a text that's why message. I just we literally it. can't do this. Thing. Why? Oh, it's only on Wednesdays. Is it? We can't yeah. get together on a Wednesday? Uh -huh. No, Lizzie only sees me when she's working. Oh, if you want to get together on a Wednesday, let's fucking Are go. you available on a Wednesday? I can make myself available. No. <laughs> then we'll do it. Okay, see you fuckers Wednesday. <laughs> now it's going to be old. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> Wait, they can't just dribble the pink on a Monday? If no, we ask that's the thing that's so plead? fucking annoying about the thing. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. That fuck was my them. point. When you said that, I was like, only on Wednesdays, the fuck? And did you see Lindsay Lohan? At <laughs> yes, pissed. They had her do a cameo in the movie, show up to the premiere. She did the thing, and she's a new mom. She went away from her kids to execute all of these yeah. things. And then they made a joke about a fire crotch, which was a huge thing yeah. that she was outwardly upset about. In the early audience. Yes. Yeah. Wild. Did Tina Fey ever, did anyone ever say anything? I don't know. Chris, do you mind looking into that? Did anyone apologize to Lindsay yet about the fire crotch joke in Mean Girls? Also, did Megan the Stallion make the joke? Because that's even more upsetting and hurtful. Why? Because she's a huge person. If it was some throwaway fucking extra who said the fire crotch line, that's one thing. But for it to be Megan, capital T-H-E, Stallion, <laughs> to throw a fire crotch joke in Lindsay Lohan's face, like, that's war. Did you see her pop out on SNL? Megan? Yeah. No, I don't oh. watch SNL. I can't. Do I only it. watched the clip because Renee was performing. I had just seen Mean Girls. I yeah. heard Megan the Stallion had like a great moment in it. Rachel McAdams presented. Right. I've heard so all the things. I clicked on Olivia it. Olivia Jade was there with Jacob Elordi. He oh. made fun of his own salt burn movie. Thought... I've gotten all the highlights. I just can't find it in my heart to care. You're missing nothing. That's how I feel. You're missing nothing. That's how I feel. Um, what else was I going to say about that? Oh, Jacob Elordi. Oh no. <laughs> Olivia Jade? Maybe. Never mind. Who cares? Who cares? What are we even talking Honestly, about? Honestly, I care. Jacob Elordi seems like a great man, and I hate oh. to say this, but the fact that he's with Olivia Jade kind of gives me pause. Wait, really? I yeah. was watching it. I clicked on an Olivia Jade vlog the other day, and her mom made an appearance, and I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, hey, they're all hey, they're all back to norms. Hey, good. Yeah. yeah. Let them live. Live, they, she, did her, she did her time she did do her, her time live. like i was honestly yes. a little comforted to see her pop out and i thought good don't hide from people she hasn't Exist. been hiding she's been out for like four years okay well i haven't Where seen have you her been? i don't know <laughs> i've been watching her vlogs so that you do yeah oh but i'm also like at the same time i'm like <sighs> okay don't be mean i just I'm, when people can be like that about me too but i'm so like, she is dating jacob already Yes, I think it's just a lordy. Oh, okay. Okay, I don't, I don't think it's that hard. Uh, uh, oh. But now I'm worried I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. I, can I think never it's tell a lordy. You. Okay. I think it is. Okay. Uh, any answers, Chris? Um. All, no one said sorry. Not that I see. All that I see is that it says Lindsay was very hurt and disappointed by the reference in oh, the I film. Um, and then also, uh, Lindsay was hurt and disappointed, and then also, uh, Megan Lee Stallion did say though. Oh, yeah. Well, she had the line. I don't know if Megan the Stallion knew that, that I didn't know. Girl, that we that was... all we all knew. Oh, okay. We all been not you starting beef with Megan the Stallion. 
I did. Did I start the beef or did Megan start the beef? You started the beef. You just Listen, as called a her crotch, out for doing it when she as probably a fire, just cashed the huge as check. As a fire crotch myself. Oh right, I forgot you're contributing you're in the to hate against redheads. Right. It's fucking absurd. You're right. You're in the community, <laughs> and I love Megan. The <laughs> you tell him. And how dare anybody make anybody feel bad about their fucking private parts? Oh, I'm so right. sick of that. Right. Yeah. Who, who else is doing that? I don't know. For the, This is old as fuck, but like Matt Reif being a piece of shit. I don't is, know who that is. Good for you, man. What a great <laughs> fucking world you live in. Also, uh, is he a comedian? He's a comedian with air quotes around it. I mean, if he's making lots of money and he's successful at it, then I would say he's a comedian. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but there's different reasons for people's success. And I feel like TikTok has provided a platform for some people that don't necessarily deserve it. Can So I watched this lady that talks about reviews, just TV ratings and reviews. Uh -huh. And I was very shocked at how little people are actually watching these stand-up specials because yeah. these huge stand-up comedians... Uh, Pete Davidson, Dave Chappelle. I looked at the ratings, and in their like first week, it was 2.3 million views and 2.5 million views. And when you put it in context to a Mr. Beast video that gets 100 million views, yeah. it seems like what's the point of anything? Yeah, you know. <laughs> I don't think that the I don't think the two mediums are comparable. Like I think a success in in quote unquote streaming media versus a YouTube. Platformer. I know, but it just seems crazy that the most renowned comedians. It seems to be a much smaller number than I would have thought. I oh, would yeah. have thought 20 million people are watching this the way people seem to talk about it on the internet, in real life, you know? No, so it's, I was just I kind of it, shocked. No, it's weird. I think it's weird. I think it's crazy. And when you also look at the actual breakdown of like who's watching what on Netflix and what's being watched, sometimes you're like, I haven't even heard of that. Because they do it by, they do watch hour stills, but still, but recently they switched to views. So you can right. see how, how many, many people yeah. clicked like YouTube. Yeah. So it's fascinating. It's really weird. Yeah. Did you guys think Pete Davidson was funny? I hadn't watched it yet. Oh. But from your reenactment, I loved it. <laughs> well, I it need will to know. get me to watch it. Just so <laughs> I, you know. I need to know. What do you guys? Think? Okay, so Joe, <laughs> we all know there's things in life that you have to compromise for, like which one of us has to wake up in the middle of the night to feed the babies. But when it comes to your health, there should be no compromise. So don't go back to that doctor who uses your appointment to do anything but talk about your health. Instead, check out Zocdoc, the place where you can find and book doctors who will make you feel comfortable, listen to you, and prioritize your health. You can search by location, availability, and insurance. So literally no compromises here because with ZocDoc, you have more options than you know. If you haven't heard of ZocDoc, it's a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Once you find the doctor you want, you can book them immediately, no more awkwardly waiting on hold with a receptionist, and all of these doctors have verified real reviews from actual patients. The typical wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is just between 24 and 72 two hours, that's it, and you can even score same-day appointments. I love ZocDoc because especially going between different states, it's hard to find a doctor that is in-network and that won't charge you for so many outrageous things because you do have to take charge of your own health, and I love that this is a tool that makes it easier for us to do that. So go to ZocDoc.com slash the SIP and download the ZocDoc app for free, then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc.com slash the SIP. ZocDoc dot com slash the sip oh joe's being crazy so joe was brought up a buff in a buffalo bills house okay bills mafia what like, team does kelsey play for not the bills oh okay the are Chiefs. they rivaling they were playing rivaling. each other so the playoffs have started i know nothing about football and i don't intend to know a thing me about either. it at any taylor point. swift can't even get me there and i love I'm, her no i like and the whole thing is like so joe's big on the bills i was excited for the game only because they had like taylor swift themed snacks are you kidding yeah they at had the a snack, stadium yeah they had a snack called bad blood fries which was like partially like kansas city themed french fry and then on the other end of the spectrum was bill's french Not fries my two girls fighting katie yeah. and taylor Way is to bring Katie, up bad blood. Wait. Bad blood is about Katy Perry. Oh, right. And now you're just bringing up all the feelings all over again. I mean, now that I'm a Katy cat, I, I don't know where to stand. I don't think I subscribe <gasps> to the Katy cat Taylor <gasps> Swift drama. Oh, right. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't buy it. Okay. That's fine. Um, but that being said, I would have loved to try those French fries. Me too. It would have got me to the stadium. For real, for real. I almost uh, flew you out to Colorado when they were playing the Denver Broncos Just in so hopes. Go. Tickets for that were as expensive as the fucking Aeros tour. Yeah. Yeah. It was very expensive, and the only reason we didn't execute was because it was so cold, and <laughs> she didn't show up anyway, so thank God. Yeah, thank God. Thank God. So anyway, Joe was like, 
I'm going to put on the game, but shut the fuck up about the Kansas City Chiefs today. And I was like, I have said nothing. <laughs> I did not know there was a game outside. I didn't know when the game was. I knew there were French fries. Do you know what I mean? Like that That's the extent of my knowledge. I didn't know it was a playoff game. I didn't know what the fuck it was. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, bro. So do we know who's going to the playoffs? I, these were the playoffs that uh, happened. Oh, I mean, the Super Bowl. No, uh, not yet. Oh. But there's some other shit. Let me finish this. Oh, sorry. So Joe's watching it in the living room and in the bedroom. I'm watching This Is Us because I have a lot to do. <laughs> and he comes in afterwards. He goes like, well, I guess you're happy. And I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, why? I hope you're happy. You were right. Taylor Swift didn't jinx Kelsey or whatever. And I was like, because Joe's also on this weird shit. And he's like, well, I guess the curse isn't true. It's like, there is no curse. <laughs> Like, there's no Taylor Swift curse. That's a Kardashian Although curse. Although we were starting to think that she might be doing witchcraft at her shows convincing us of something. There might be a subliminal message. There. I hope to God she is. I, I said the same. Yeah. I said the same. Shane was telling me about it. And yeah. I thought, well, if she is, then let her. And do it to me. <laughs> she has. We've been yeah. three times. Cast she's done spell, it. Bitch. It's done. Oh my god, it is done. You're right. So whatever <laughs> she's cast, and it's every time the show comes on too, because like I've been reading now. Joe puts it on, and I like come out of the bedroom like, what's the heiress tour doing? Wait, on? I'm confused because Joe's a newfound Swifty, and yeah. he's screaming. He's to a, the he's a tour deeply concert. complicated, sick, sick man. Right. He's watching <gasps> Rachel McAdams movies. He loves Rachel McAdams. So Calls her I. Rachel as if he knows her. And Does it makes he watch me Mean Girls? Post. Is that on his rotation? Um, He's probably seen it. I'm sure he enjoyed it. Okay. He loves Rachel. So do I. Yeah. So anyways, he's been a weird bitch to me because the Bills lost, the Chiefs won. And I thought it was very cute because Jason Kelsey, who just retired, he was playing for the Eagles. He's, what's his name? Travis's brother. Okay. Um, he was in the suite this time because he's not his team didn't make the playoffs and he was all fucked up taking his shirt off and shit just having a great time in there and was taylor with the brother yeah wow she was having a good time too and there was some cute shit that went down like travis made three touchdowns and one of the times he like blew a kiss to taylor and then did the hand hearts that is cringy oh i love it i love the <laughs> way went like the this? way he touches her i makes, can't even do this it's the so way good. he touches her makes my pussy throb <laughs> that and lesbian porn are all I need. And I say that knowing everyone in my family watches this show. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, no need for Joe. Um, so if they win next week, then does that mean Travis Kelsey is going to the Super Bowl? Maybe. Okay. Actually, yeah, I think it does because Joe told me there's only two more weeks I have to survive a football. But then we have to watch the Super Bowl. We don't have to do anything. When is that? Okay. And they're, But now they're saying that the Super Bowl accidentally released something that said that it was like the Ravens versus the Niners. Like they're doing, there's like hashtag the Super Bowl or the NFL is scripted is trending right now oh, because they accidentally. It's like wrestling? What? You didn't know pro wrestling is all scripted? Oh, that I didn't know. Yeah, so I'm, yes, I'm, I'm comparing. I uh, think that's what the the allegations are. Okay, so does that tie into this? I think that was this. Uh, oh, but the other thing that's interesting is even if Travis Kelsey's team doesn't make it to the... What's the final game? Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> He's still probably going to make millions of dollars getting hired to host NFL par or Super Bowl parties around Vegas. Just showing up at them? Yeah, because like big brands... He'd probably get paid more doing that. That's what they're speculating. Because he could get paid like millions... Oh, and maybe not more. I don't know how much his football contract's Dude, for. Dude, some people make he, like $100 million. I know, but this happened this season. So he'll probably use what happened this season as a negotiating tactic for his next football contract. Right. But I don't know how long his current one is. I don't know how sports works. It might be a four-year contract. He's probably praying to God his contract is over this year so he can negotiate yeah. the biggest salary ever. Well, what I, I'm, to be honest though, like if he does end up hosting a party, I'm a little bit like, yuck. <laughs> <laughs> tacky <laughs> like we wouldn't accept a million dollars to show up at a party if we were offered no but we're tacky people <laughs> i would be there and <laughs> i'm pathetic and i'm you fine don't admitting think he it is. he like doesn't he have a podcast where he exploits himself too yeah but i think he has a good time with his brother on his podcast it's like are I, we no, not I don't, having I don't, a good time no we're having a good time i'm talking about if you and i were to like go out and host a fucking party we'd be real boring you and i have no business hosting a party we have no business travis conducting Kelsey kind fun. of has business hosting a party he seems like he could conduct fun but honestly i think he makes like at least a hundred million dollars a year i don't can you google his salary chris yeah let us know what he's making because it's like you make that much money and then you're like yeah i'm gonna host a trashy party in vegas like vegas is gross what's his name again i travis kelsey i have so much fun in vegas i do too but you know it's gross 
Yeah. Yeah. It's not like classy. No, but they're just going to a five star hotel suite and then getting ushered to the party and then going right back and then getting on their private plane back to wherever they're from. Facts. So they're only seeing fun, glamorous things. Good for them. Yeah. They're not walking on the strip with everyone else, with no. us. They're not walking five miles. They're not miles. walking with us. <laughs> no. Um, okay. Are any of these other things important? We already talked about them. N- no. Uh, there's other <laughs> Oh, after that? Um, so I am off TikTok. His average annual salary of fourteen million seems like a lie. The internet also said I have a million dollars, and that is a lie. <laughs> like, fourteen million is his football salary, or with his pot? Like, what's his football contract? He signed a four-year, uh, fifty-seven million dollar, a four-year, fifty-seven million. Oh, so contract. he is making fourteen million a year from football. Th- that is public information. Why do I feel bad for him? Because his girlfriend makes that in two nights of his but am I being, show. But like, am I being crazy? I'm like, oh, no, he's poor like me. <laughs> and I don't even make that. You know? <laughs> oh, no, he's poor like me. I'm That's like, just his football contract. I'm like, host though. that party, Travis. You get your back, baby. <laughs> How much did Pfizer pay him You're to sell so his soul? You're so broke. You need this. <laughs> you need this, Travis. No judgment, baby. Um. Okay. Do I care about the little girls doing Sephora? Okay. Honestly, I do because I'm off TikTok and somehow this has found its way into my life. Okay. So there's, um, I guess people all over the Hello. America right now are saying, I don't know how far Sephora's reach is, but 10 year old girls are storming Sephora's and like being assholes to the people who work there. Like crazy little assholes. And this story went viral so much so that it's like in like mainstream media. I saw Good Morning America did a thing about girl young girls being beauty influencers. I didn't yeah, see that. And it's like young girls, like young girls who still sit in fucking high in what are those seats that you put in your in car chair. seats? Well, you can thank Northwest for enabling all these girls <laughs> to think they right. can. Right. Because I mean, Northwest does that. And so the young girl the younger girls that are watching Northwest think I could do that too. I mean, we're living in a world I mean, where everyone can sell you products now without anything. Because yeah. if you're, even if you have no followers on TikTok, your video could go viral and you could still earn money recommending a product. It just makes me so sad because it's like, at what point are kids just being fucking goofy ass little weirdos? Like when I was 10, I was taking nail polish and putting it in water and calling it sea monkeys. Like, I was walking I was in down- a treehouse chain smoking candy cigarettes like doing little weird kid shit and i was walking down railroads that were out of commission building forts in the middle of nowhere yeah we had one of those water bottles that had a little hose on it and you could mist people with it like at sporting events and we would pretend it was a camera and we would go around interviewing people in the neighborhood about the blair it which was a combination of the blair witch and it (laughs) (laughs) i wonder why aren't 10 year olds doing weird shit like that anymore i don't know and i'm honestly scared for when my I boys mean, start growing up because yeah. how do you how do you maintain a healthy balance where it's not they're so deprived that they're acting out when they get somebody else's phone yeah. or because you know if you take anything all the way from anyone they're going to go crazy in the opposite direction but yeah. maintaining that healthy balance I think is, it's I think it's got to be all like monkey see monkey do and to some degree so it's really just about managing our own digital addictions before they see how much it means to us because it's like like honestly like my phone's out and i'm taking a picture of your baby i'm fucking holding your baby and taking a fucking selfie or texting somebody back or responding to emails i do think as they get a little bit older and a little more aware of what's going on around them i do want to be intentional about okay i'm feeding a baby i'm doing this thing i don't want to be i don't want to like show like once they're crawling walking playing i don't want them to look over at me while they're playing and just see dad on his phone all the time yeah i I can check my work at the door yeah and try to be present with i know that's not always realistic but as much as i can yeah it's hard too because the, at the same time it's like well i want to limit their screen time because i don't really want my kid to know how to navigate youtube before they're verbal right i will say my kids love baby shark it does calm them down if they're <laughs> fussy because i've tried all the nursery rhymes on youtube during playtime because you're we're trying to stretch their wake windows for their appropriate age and it is this thing where you're shaking the rattles even if they're not seeing the screen just for the music to be on i've tried all the different nursery rhymes on youtube and the iterations of baby shark is the one did you show those motherfuckers the fridge yet 
I think I was the one that initially told you because in the taking care of babies course, they all No, say, I've been showing Haley's baby the fridge since before you read taking care of babies. They do. They are very light happy now. The other night when I took, it was dark out, I took them to the family room and there's a lot of sconces on that wall, on those walls. And Jet was just mesmerized <laughs> by the lights, almost to an overstimulation point where I had to then like- Chill his little Yeah, out. face him back to call. He's like- <laughs> <laughs> too much too much wow but yeah i will start as they get probably within the next month start taking them on light tours of the house yeah these are the bathroom lights Give these are light the shows. kitchen lights i love this is the fridge look in the fridge that's pretty cute um oh so these little girls are taking over sephora oh and they're being mean to the employees they're being mean but they're also being fucking psychos so like i watched a little girl do her like whole drunk elephant beauty routine and it's like she's still sitting in a high chair in the car and she's putting retinol on her face so the moms are just up front doing what buying 900 dollars worth of makeup at sephora for a child who sits in a fucking booster seat putting retinol on a child's face which i think is crazy i don't even put that on my own face no it's crazy like the dermatologist will say don't put this on your face more than once a week to a 40 year old man and a 10 year old just in her room doing a fucking tutorial splashing retinol on her eyeballs all fucking day mm. oh the fuck is coming back anyway the story went viral where this there's two 10 year old girls they're in sephora they this girl goes to a checkout she asks for two perfumes that she has on hold the woman starts ringing her up that she has on hold i don't even know how to put something on hold bro she put two perfumes on hold and the total of both of them was like 300 dollars. and the woman so the girl's like i just want to know how much those are before you ring them up so she rings them she goes oh it's 300 dollars. she goes okay this girl's 10 <laughs> Then she starts ringing up the rest of her shit. And then at the end of it, the woman goes, that's going to be $900. And the girl goes, oh, one second. And then her sister comes over and her sister's like, I just spent $500. And the other little girl's like, well, I've got like $900. They're filming stuff. all of this? No, they're talking about it. Like the, the sales associate went on I, TikTok and started uh, talking about it. Okay. So the girls start having a conversation about how one spent 500 and the other one needs 900. And then the mom comes over and the mom's like, I'm not going to spend $900. And the girl's like, well, I'm not putting anything back. And then the mom starts bar bartering with the daughter on site, bro. If my little girl is like, I'm not putting anything back. It's like, all right, well, then you live here. Bye. <laughs> I'm ditching your ass right now because you suck. <laughs> <laughs> and then they sat there for 20 minutes in front of the sales associate having a conversation about how to bring down the price of what she got. And the little girl who's being a fucking asshole walked away with $500 worth of Sephora shit. Mm. I hope she's moving that product online to pay her mom back. I hope her skin is burning off her face <laughs> and she's learning a lesson the hard way. Okay, well, we're going to have to save any other hot topics for next week because we only have 12... Well, not only. We can go as long as we technically want, but we've got to get into this taste test. You think the taste test is going to take 12 minutes? No, I think it's going to take four hours. Why? Well, there's probably a bunch of different cookies and we're trying the Taco Bell cereal. Right. But I do think we should jump into the car, even though everything's at the house. Why? Because <laughs> I'm crazy. Do you want to just be in the kitchen? Oh, whoa, wild. Yeah. <laughs> I guess then all three of us could be in the shot and I don't yeah. have to edit angles. Yeah. Do you guys love this production meeting? <laughs> Woo! See you soon. Wait, can we just do one more? You have one. Which one? I just want to talk about the Haley Bailey. The oh, Halle Bailey. She had it. She popped out a kid, right? Well, Halle Baby was pregnant. For... Ba <laughs> what did I just say? Halle Baby. Whatever. Halle Bailey. I still can't get her and Haley Bieber straight. Or ha Halle Berry. Berry. The three of them need to get they together need, like, and pick a name. Yeah. And it's got to be different. One's got to go by Samantha. Also, if we could switch lives with anyone for a day, I want to be Haley Bieber. Same. <laughs> Honestly, really? yeah, look at me. I'm wearing fucking New Balances and high white socks. You're trying to be her so hard right I'm, now. I'm like trying to be her so hard all the time, always. <laughs> wow. I love her and I can't help it. And I think it's sick. I wish we could be friends with Hailey Bieber. I don't know if I want to be friends with her. <laughs> oh, uh, she seems like an asshole. <gasps> Am I wrong? Do you yes. not feel like you'd be scared in the I'm presence? I'm team Hailey. I was at, whoa, whoa. Okay, I don't know if I can make that declaration, but I will say I don't I'm know to be any of the back and forth between any of it. I just know <laughs> that was a tired dad confession, and you might want to save yourself. <laughs> I'll just bleep, 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 bleep. Forty nine. I'll just bleep the whole confession. Anyway, my point was: Do you think Halle Bailey? Halle Bailey? I 
Just go. We her, all know who you're talking she about. Said Little she, Mermaid. So she has a fantastic voice. She said she was hiding her pregnancy because she didn't want the stress of people talking about it. But it's like, at what point does the stress of hiding a pregnancy outweigh the stress of people talking about your pregnancy? Depends on how much people are prying into your life, I suppose. Well, everybody on the internet was like, this bitch is pregnant as fuck. Oh. Yeah, that's stressful. Yeah. I guess at that point, you just get real crafty and, you can't tell your and friends. stop looking. I mean, you could. T- her friends, I'm sure, knew. I mean, I don't know. I don't trust anyone. I I think Paris Hilton was the queen of this, being able to hold it all the way until weeks after the child was born. What? I also think that's crazy. Oh, but she wasn't pregnant herself. No. So it's easier to hide. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh, the nasty things I want to say. And nothing See nasty. See you guys in the kitchen. I, no, I'll give Paris. I like that she was up front. I, she was honest. I'll give her that. A lot of parents hide that they have help or hide behind right. all of this stuff. And... You know, I I was listening to a Kelly Clarkson interview the other day because she is a busy working mom. She was on The Voice for all those years, has her own talk show, still creates music, goes on tours. And she was like, my mom screwed me up in so many different ways while she was trying to do her best. She had to be at her hourly job working 24-7 to pay for us. And I didn't see her in that way. But my kids don't see me all the time. But when I'm present, I'm present. And they know they have like a career mom. Mm-hmm. And I want to be that. Ex- so everyone has their own unique pat- like life story. And every family has to do what they have to do. And it is, now that I'm a mom, very, very difficult, especially with twins, to, like, be everything for everyone. And you still have to work. Yeah. Period. (laughs) Period. 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 I couldn't survive without somebody helping us. I really couldn't. No. I would, I literally would melt into nothing. I will say there's a different... Okay. Approach to you being a parent and Paris being a parent. Right. Like, Even I when would, if I were you, I wouldn't say you were like that. Oh, I, would, not, I, I didn't yeah. say I'm like Paris. I said everyone has their own unique story. We do right. have help frequently, but even when we do have somebody here, I am very proactive yeah. and in there helping and on top of everything. It's not like I'm just, I'll see my babies in a week. Yeah. You know? I'll see them when they're older. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, wow, we're really chatty today. <laughs> That's not like us. <laughs> Bye. See you in the kitchen. Get over here, Chris. Come on, Chris. Oh, okay. And something that wasn't supposed to be complicated became way more complicated. But we're going to start with the Cinnamon Twist cereal. It Pretty. is holographic, if you can't tell. <laughs> Gorgeous. It seems like a pretty small box, though, wouldn't you say? Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, it definitely seems like it's fake. It feels like you got this at Wolf Pussy or whatever that store is called. What? What? <laughs> What's that store called? Wolf Pussy? I don't Wolf know Cat? what I'm talking about. It feels like I'm on acid and this isn't real is really what I'm trying to say. Wow, this isn't open. We're going to try it first. Hold up. Yeah, I'm looking no, at I it. Got, I got this This for... is literally just their cinnamon twist. That's what people online <laughs> are saying. And look at I feel like this is a smaller portion too than like a cinnamon twist. They do give you a spoon though. <gasps> so uh, Shane, he woke up and he was like, I saw this promotion on Taco Bell. You have to order Taco Bell breakfast to get it. So he did that just for the podcast. It's a collab with Uber, with Uber Eats. It says so on the spoon. Here. And Lizzie, like a psychopath, wanted to put milk in the cups first before we entered the cereal. Yeah, I was just trying to have it pre- that's psychotic. <laughs> I don't know that that's psychotic, Do my friend. Do you guys put your milk before no, you cereal? No, but I also don't usually eat cereal in front of an audience. Uh, okay, but I just know some people do milk before cereal, and that is psychotic behavior. So that, yeah. that's not your normal. You no. Don't normally do. <laughs> Would you? I don't, no. Milk your cereal. <laughs> <laughs> it's almond milk. Sorry if you guys don't like that. <laughs> I prefer I, it. Yeah. I'm not supposed to have a lot of dairy. I got conditions of the medical kind. Here, here. Thank you. <gasps> it's crackling. It's literally just a cinnamon twist. Do you think it has nothing different? It looks identical. It has nothing different. I personally. It it's a cinnamon twist. Wow, it's crackle. Ra- cra- what is it? The Rice Krispies slogan? Oh, snap, crackle, pop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's exactly what it's like. You... But it's not bad. It is literally the cinnamon. Like, you don't. Yeah. So the only thing. They just made them a little bit smaller. Which you could just crush up yourself. I guess you just get like this collector's box, which is pretty cool. It changes colors as you shift it up and down. Yeah. I like it. I mean, what's not to like? Uh, it's quickly fading though. It's not I, It's not as flavorful as I want. It's not as sweet as you would think. No, it's because the milk has washed it all away. Can you guys scoot this way a little so Chris is a little more in it with us? Oh, thank you. Yeah, Chris, get in this. Uh, it's honestly kind of plain. 
I like it. It has the right amount of like crunch for me. I like the texture. And when you meet the milk with like the right amount of sogginess. Mm. Mm. Actually, I love it. I like it. I want it to be sweet. When you eat a cinnamon twist, it's really sweet and like flavorful. And, this and is see, like... that's what I don't like about cinnamon twists and churros. There's too much of the cinnamon sugar for me. Oh, that's well, the like milk... the whole point. <laughs> the milk has ensured there's no sugar on these. That's ones. what I'm saying. You think the milk stripped it from the sugar? Yeah, I'm positive. Well, take one without and tell us for sure. I had some without on the top and they were sweeter. And then towards the end, it's just like a salty. I would eat all of this. I, I, I did. I'm a, it's like the perfect amount of sweet for my taste buds. Mm. Oh my God. I don't even want the crumble. Oh, I forgot about the crumble. Although I am gonna be sick because, okay. The reason we got crumble, A, we've never done it on the podcast, but B, they came out with the cinnamon squares. We've done crumble on the podcast like a million. Have we? Yeah, on the podcast? are you? Oh, in Colorado. And here. No. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, you guys. Here's this week's crumble splay. I couldn't be more excited about the square. Oh, <gasps> so look at this, it. This, will you get a little bit of B-roll of this? Oh. Is that apple pie? No, it's a cinnamon. Where's my It's like phone? a Cinnabon. You guys, I'm not editing oh, this. So I hope you like the God. dead air. Uh, this one is a cinnamon square, is how they describe it. And it does look gorgeous. I'm most looking forward to the strawberry crumb cake because my favorite ice cream pop in the world is the strawberry shortcake Is pop. this supposed to be like that? I mean, that's what it, the flavor combination looks like to me. Well, they actually had one that was intended to be that sock, that popsicle. <gasps> Will this work? This looks incredible. I'm so excited. Will this work right yeah. now? <gasps> Did they I knew. get spoon, or can we just use our same spoons? Are you guys okay with that? Yeah. Oh my god. Or here. It I'll... looks amazing, doesn't it? Oh. oh. I'll give Chris his. I didn't want to touch his. He's been served. <laughs> Let's flip her. Oh, we don't even need forks. Wow. This is honestly quite gorgeous. It looks amazing. Can I use the Uber Eats spoon? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to get a little bit of B-roll. This has those. to be good. Are you kidding me? I don't know if it has to be good, Chris. It has to be. Wow, I'm betting on I it. just, there's no way. It looks better than a regular cinnamon roll to me. Cheers. Cheers. I love it. Mm. You don't like it? It's fine. I love it. I love it. It's, it's everything I love in life. Mm. It's all the cinnamon you didn't get on that twist. Yeah. <laughs> All the sweetness I wanted. It tastes like a cake more than a, it tastes like a cinnamon cake more than a cinnamon roll. It's definitely a cake. And I love a cake. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what? No, cake is, well, chocolate chip cookies are my number one love, but then cake is right after. But it's like moist. It's not like there are dry, boring cakes. This is like a moist, delicious. And the right amount of cinnamon. You know those oh. like, cin went on a cinnamon oh cake, God. the cinnamon crunches on top? Mm -hmm. Like the mm. crumbles? Yes. Yeah, the crumbles that are like dense, but not crunchy. It has like some of that going on inside too. I like that the frosting has a bit of a cream cheese tint to it. Mm. I love it so much. <laughs> okay. This is better than the cereal. It's definitely better than the cereal. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. I could just get sick on this for the rest of my I'm life. I'm so scared about getting sick on all this shit right now. <laughs> I have to drive myself home. <laughs> Usually in Colorado, I don't have to drive. I should be scared. I was in a hospital because of stomach conditions. Yeah, yeah. why were you in the hospital? <laughs> I have a lot of medical conditions. I'm not sure which one landed me in the hospital. I got a guess. <laughs> um, okay, so the, well you can let, oh, wait, so you don't know? You went and they didn't tell you? No, they also gave me a new medication that I need to start taking. Okay. I haven't started yet, but we I will. We love a new medication. <laughs> Do you guys know what a cannoli is? Cause I don't. Yes. It's a cream filled pastry. This is what you actually- You cannoli? I don't know. This is what caught Shane's eye and this is actually why he ordered them. And then I saw the cinnamon roll. Okay and I was all in after I saw the cinnamon roll. But it's gorgeous. It has like the mini chocolate chips on the cream inside of the two. Crumble really fucks me up when they do a sandwich because then you're consuming two cookies and cream. It does feel like they split the cookie density though. Oh, no, it's pretty similar. Yeah, it's pretty similar. Okay. Ooh, that's soft. Kind of bland in comparison to how sweet the cinnamon roll was. I care a little for it. I I like it, but I think if you had it first, it would have been a much more enjoy like the the cinnamon whatever square. I was like so intense. I like the texture, and I do like the powdered sugar on top of it. I almost feel like it's not worth swallowing. 
Really? Yeah. I like it. It's a little more dense and a little more dry, but not like it It was intended to be that way. It doesn't feel like a dry cookie. You've had a cannoli, no? Is it cannoli to you? No. Do they give cannoli? I've never had a cannoli, but it is know. giving cannoli. I feel like it mm. is. If you I like, like it. a cannoli, I think you'll like it. I like it a lot. Now, the one I'm most excited for is the strawberry shortcake. Mm. Ooh! It's not strawberry shortcake. It's strawberry crumb cake. Oh. There's a difference. And it does so the, the crumbs I was talking about. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Mm. <laughs> One way to make Chris happy, just bring him food. Yes, honestly. <laughs> okay, cheers. Cheers. I'm not mad at it, but I don't like it. Hmm. I realize I'm just biased and I love crumble cookies. If I'm being honest with you, everything's delicious to me. <laughs> mm. I like the cream on top. You do? I wish there was more strawberry to it. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're just, it's just so sugar and butter packed that it's hard to not be good. Yes. It's so much sugar that my throat is literally burning and I'm taking the world's <laughs> smallest bites. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I'm not and I'm gonna regret that later. I think we've all had cookies and cream before, right? Does this count as a relapse for you? Yes, it does. And I blame the podcast. That's what I was saying. <gasps> Nobody clicks if it's not food. And now it's this your responsibility for my his life. Cookies and cream. Wow, it's pretty. Cheers. Cheers. Marbly. See, I don't know if I can get behind a cookies and cream flavored cookie. Because it's just a cookie flavored cookie. Do you know what I'm saying? We do. Like it's a little too meta, and I don't know that I need a meta cookie. <laughs> but I love a cookies and cream flavored blizzard. Like a milk Well, that's different. I know, but I'm just yeah. saying. That's where I do think cookies and cream thrives. Because that's literally cookies with cream. Mm. I still like it though. <laughs> yes, it's not bad. I mean, it's right in the middle of the line on a crumble cookie. Like, yeah. you're gonna eat it and it's delicious, but is it the best? No. Right, and also I feel like sometimes crumble's trying to do like a theme, but it's like when crumble cookie does like a spoof on cookies, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. I mean, we all know what this tastes like, right? What is this? The Reese's Pieces. Mm -hmm. Yes. Peanut Ooh, butter. That's... Peanut butter featuring Reese's Pieces. That smells like oh. peanut butter. All their peanut butter cookies kind of taste the same. I really wanted it, I'm sorry. <gasps> I pulled the dairy. That's fine. I'm a... <laughs> That's good. Oh, I love it. That's good. I'm a big peanut butter person. You are too, though. Mm -hmm. I, I eat peanut butter oatmeal. every day. You introduced that into my life, by the way. I really? With my oatmeal now because of you. Mm. Mm. I do it every morning. This tastes exactly like the ones with the Hershey Kisses on top. They do. Exactly. It's delicious. Verbatim. Yeah. Oh, so good. Classic. This cookie can fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this cookie can specifically fuck me. This is right there at a 9 out of 10. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I'm not yeah. going to finish it, though. Wow. Okay. My, my favorite thing is the is the square though. For me, I that's will say like... the square is hitting. <laughs> it's the and it's something different. It's something new. Yeah. And it's so delicious. It's something borrowed. It's something blue. They finally took my hint and changed their chocolate chip chips for some of the weeks. Have oh we already, yeah. Have we already discussed this? I think I hate it. I. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Crumble still has one of my least you favorite chocolate chip cookies. You give me the chocolatiest chocolate chunk. Well, just eat a this size. This is way better than the original. Way this better chunk? than the original. Yeah. Still not as good. Like Tender Greens has the best chocolate chip no, cookie in the game. No, Urbane Cafe has the best chocolate chip okay, cookie well, in the game. I've never been privileged enough to have that. <laughs> you And oh, this is girl. specifically my drug of choice, a chocolate chip cookie. <sighs> mm, it's better than their original, but I still hate it. It's still not where it needs to be. Yeah. My sociopath test is, do you like the OG crumble chocolate chip cookie? And, and if you do, you're a bad person. I agree. Wow. This, I mean, it's more of a cake than a cookie, the cinnamon roll. Yeah. But Truly. this was fun. We're not trying to dull its shine. And you know what? I hate having these in my house because then I have to think about them Send all Send them with Chris. And you know what? I will. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take... Twist my arm. <laughs> I'll give Shane, like, what he needs for his taste test and send him out of this household. Mm. Mm. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. Uh, let us know what you want us to try on the podcast next. If, yeah. we, if we bring back the car. Do you want to see him cut my bangs? Where are we going? <laughs> yeah, we could see like if, if that's a good alt to food. You can't Doing intentionally fuck my shit up though. No, I won't. Okay. And then maybe one day you could pierce one of my ears. <gasps> We just start. We like, both fade. We just start fucking with our bodies instead Whoa. of doing. If food. you want to watch us self mutilate, come back next week. Well, yeah, maybe. 
All right, uh, make sure you're following all of us on social media. Chris is gonna post more this year. Yeah. Lizzie, are you posting? I posted yesterday, girl. Great. Me and my dad got, oh my God, I didn't even tell you. We got scammed in New York. And that's what the vlog's about? Yeah. Can't got... wait to watch it. <laughs> they saw us coming a mile away, plucked us off the street and said, give us your money. We said, okay. Um, thank you so much for watching and supporting our show. We love you very much. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. And, and that's, that's the sit. sit. <sighs> I got oh, really fresh with I'm that. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> I, that's why it's a tiny bite.